It is 649. This is your morning in eight minutes. Take a look at these pictures. Everyone is safe this morning after a house fire in South Knox County. Rural Metro responded to this single family home on the 6200 block of Newbert Springs Road. They say the flames were through the roof. Crews were forced to work from outside the home due to the heat and the threat of it collapsing. All family members and their pets made it out safely. The cause of the fire is under investigation. And right now, Clinton police and the TBI are trying to figure out what led to a 19 year old found dead inside of a home. It happened yesterday at a home on Fowler Avenue in Clinton. Officials say right now they're having trouble determining if the deadly shooting was a homicide, self-inflicted or an accident. Clinton's police chief says the young man was visiting a friend at the time. Two other people were also in the home, one who lives there. Investigators say the parents were not home during the shooting. Witnesses and friends are being questioned right now. We're still working to learn more. A 22 year old woman has turned herself in in the mur on murder and manslaughter charges. Sarah Scarborough is accused of killing 46 year old Jason Cooper back in February. Cooper was found dead at a home on West Parkway Avenue in Knoxville. Scarborough turned herself in Wednesday night. She faces several charges, including second degree murder. A man with multiple warrants is in custody thanks to a Roan County drone. While appearing in court, the sheriff's office says Joseph Waldo realized he possibly had outstanding warrants and tried to run. Waldo made it out of the courtroom but was spotted walking quickly and suspiciously away from the county courthouse. Shortly after that, a Roan County deputy used this infrared view with their drone shadow to find the suspect. The deputy told officers it looked like someone was laying down in a pile of grass or near in a high grass near a pile of wood behind a Kingston business. Officials say without the drone, Waldo may not have been found. He was taken into custody and the TBI says a man on the Tennessee most wanted list has been found. Rosmel Ruby was arrested in Houston, wanted for a murder in Gatlinburg last year. In September, officers found a man dead at a home on Reagan Drive. The 22 year old is now facing criminal homicide charges. A Pitch and Forge man is in custody today, charged with first degree murder in the deadly shooting of a 15 year old boy. This happened Wednesday, just before midnight at the Americana Inn in Pigeon Forge. When officers got there, they found the boy shot. He was rushed to Leconte Medical Center, where he later died. Right now, Andrew Ortiz is charged with first degree murder and is being held at the Sevier County Jail. A man is charged with assault, accused of stalking several young women in the area. Right now, KPD wants to know if this happened to you. A girl told police she was walking her dog at night outside of the Palmer Apartments when she was assaulted by the man you see on your screen. Investigators say they arrested 20 year old Zachary Nelson. They believe he has stalked several other young women as well. Officials say there are reports of him following and making an unwanted advance at a different woman at the same complex. KPD says they've been made aware of similar incidents at several complexes and public areas around Knox County. He is thin and six foot three. KPD says if this happened to you, call police. A Detroit couple is facing charges after the TBI says they found drugs and guns in a Knoxville home. Agents say Marty Vaughn and Sarah Horn were selling drugs out of a home on Jersey Avenue. In March, officers got a tip about drug activity at that location. On Wednesday, Knox County Sheriff's officers tried to pull Vaughn over and he tried to get away, hitting several cars on Middlebrook Pike. He was taken into custody. Later that day, the TBI searched the home, finding more than 100 grams of fentanyl, meth and multiple guns. Vaughn and Horn are in custody. And there's hope this morning that the White House and congressional leaders could soon reach a deal to raise the nation's borrowing limit. But time is running out. The Treasury Department warns the U.S. could default on its debts as early as June 1st. Congress adjourned ahead of the Memorial Day weekend. The lawmakers could be called back if uh, to vote if a deal is reached. And it is Memorial Day weekend. Many people excited to travel for the holiday. Experts are saying this year's Memorial Day may be the busiest travel season year of the year. It is a day to honor those who lost their lives while defending the country and millions of Americans are expected to travel this weekend as the nation observes Memorial Day. If you're flying, try to get to the airport early. Today and Monday are expected to be the busiest travel days. If you're hitting the road, today is expected to be the busiest day on the roadways. AAA says the worst time to travel will be between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. Experts say leave as early in the morning as possible. And
And here's a look at the gas prices you can expect if you're hitting the road today. In Knox County, you're looking at $3.22. In Blunt County, the average is $3.25. And in Sevier County, the average there, $3.20. That's the same as our state average. The national average per gallon, $3.57. More than $1 cheaper than this time last year. And over the Memorial Day weekend, AAA is launching its Tow to Go program in Tennessee. The effort of the service is to keep impaired drivers off of the road. When called, AAA dispatches a tow truck to take you and your car to a safe location within 10 miles for free. The service starts tonight at 6 and stays in effect until Tuesday at 6. All you have to do is call the number at the top of your screen. It is free, confidential, and you don't have to be a AAA member to get help. Appointments cannot be scheduled in advance for Tow to Go. Tow to go may not be available in some rural areas, so you can check inside your WVLT News app. And WVLT is proud to be your official station of the Vols. Sold out this weekend, the Lady Vols host the Texas Longhorns and the Super Regionals at Sherry Parker Lee Stadium. First pitch is today at 4 o'clock. UT Athletics is hosting a watch party at the Regal Soccer Stadium next door if you want to cheer on the Vols. We've got all the info inside your WVLT News app. It is 6.55 now. We do want to get a check of your first alert traffic. Just a heads up that Newport Springs Road remains closed after an early morning house fire in South Knox County. Crews are advising they're going to be there for a couple more hours. So if you are headed that way, please avoid the area. Right now, moving around downtown Knoxville, I-40, 75 South, 640 West, all moving right on time. Now is the time to get out the door. If you're traveling for Memorial Day, if you're going to the airport, all flights coming and going are on time. Your first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Heather Haley. 655 and now with only a stray pop up yet again today, the biggest impact to our weather is going to be that system coming over the mountains tomorrow. But look at the big difference here when I add it all up again late tomorrow into Sunday and then that'll be winding down in terms of coverage. But that does leave us with lighter rainfall potential south and west. It's kind of clipping the northeastern half of our area. So that fine line of a quarter to a half an inch is in parts of the Central Valley, like parts of Loudoun Blunt to Knox County, parts of Roan to Anderson, lighter on the plateau at the Tennessee Kentucky line. It really kind of pools up here across far southeastern Kentucky to far northeast Tennessee. So for now, let's start this day off on a nice note. 59 Knoxville to 55 Cosby, 49 Jellico to 52 in Crossville. Still have that hazy atmosphere here. That smoke in the air, but luckily the clouds to rain will wash that away so we can hit 81 today. We are tracking that rain for this weekend, that exit to start Memorial Day, all coming up on the CW. It's been such a nice week that I feel like I can't even complain about any rain coming our way. Just... Well, <laughs> and as a gardener, I'm, I'm looking forward to That's it. That's a good point. Selfishly. All right, we're headed on over to WBXX for two more hours. Have a good day.